So, the topic is, scientists finally discovered a new way to travel faster than light. What about you? Can you travel faster than light? No, I don't think so. So we need some ideas about any science fiction or physical explained scenarios to see if a human can travel faster than light or a particle. Also, let's look at some experiments that fit this category. As we all know, Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity says that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. But what about particles that are heavier than light? Can they travel faster than light? In particle physics, there is a concept called tachyons. Tachyons are hypothetical particles that travel faster than light. The name comes from the Greek word tachys, which means swift. So far, there is no experimental evidence for the existence of tachyons. However, some theoretical models suggest that they might exist. If they do exist, it would mean that Einstein's theory of special relativity is not correct. Some scientists have proposed ways in which a human could travel faster than light. One example is called the Alcubierre drive or warp drive. This is a hypothetical space propulsion system that would create a region of spacetime with negative curvature, resulting in faster-than-light travel. However, there is no known way to create such a region of spacetime. So for now, the Alcubierre drive is just a theory. Another example is called the Krasnov thorn wormhole. This is a hypothetical shortcut through spacetime that would allow faster-than-light travel. Do you remember in the movie Interstellar the wormhole that sent the spaceship to outer space? The shortcut that happened to be there randomly is the Krasnov thorn wormhole. However, it is not clear if such wormholes exist or how they could be created. So, like the Alcubierre drive, the Krasnov thorn wormhole is just a theory at this point. There have been some experiments that suggest that particles can travel faster than light. One example is the Opera experiment. This experiment measured the time of flight of neutrinos from the CERN particle accelerator to the Gran Est F. Ferentino detector in Italy. The experiment found that the neutrinos arrived 60 nanoseconds earlier than expected if they had been traveling at the speed of light. However, the results of the experiment have been questioned and it is not clear if the neutrinos actually traveled faster than light or if there was some error in the measurement. Another example is the superluminal antiproton coupling experiment. This experiment also measured the time of flight of particles, but it used antiprotons instead of neutrinos. The experiment found that the antiprotons arrived at their destination 60 picoseconds earlier than expected if they had been traveling at the speed of light. However, the results of this experiment have also been questioned and it is not clear if the antiprotons actually traveled faster than light or if there was some error in the measurement again. In the simplest terms, quantum mechanics is the study of how particles behave when they're not being observed. This might sound like a weird concept, but it's actually the foundation of modern physics. This quirky little principle is what allows scientists to explore the strange and mysterious world of quantum mechanics. And one of the most amazing applications of this principle is quantum teleportation. Quantum teleportation involves transferring a particle from one location to another without passing through the space in between. It's like taking a shortcut through hyperspace. In fact, it's been used to send messages from one side of the planet to the other in less than a second. Probably you have seen movies like X-Men Days of Future Past that quantum teleportation is happening all the time in the movie complicating the plot. Searching for the perfect way to travel faster than light has been an elusive goal. However, recently some scientists announced that they may have found a solution in technology known as quantum projection or spooky action at a distance. This means by using this new discovery it would be possible. The idea behind quantum projection is very interesting because when two objects are too far apart from each other, like space, no signal can ever reach them. But if there was somehow connection between them then information could flow through simply due its existence alone. This is the basis of spooky action at a distance, where two objects can be connected without any physical means. Now scientists are saying that this technology could be used to achieve faster than light travel. Theoretically, by projecting oneself onto another object, like a spaceship, it would be possible to travel great distances in a very short amount of time. Of course, this is all just theory at the moment, and there is no way to know if it would actually work. But it's an interesting idea nonetheless. Who knows? 
maybe one day we'll be able to travel to the stars using quantum projection. For years, researchers have attempted to find new ways to break this cosmic speed limit without success. But now, a team of scientists believes they may have finally found a way to travel faster than light, and it doesn't involve any complex technology or futuristic machines. So how do they plan to achieve this seemingly impossible feat? Scientists have discovered a new way to travel faster than light. By harnessing the power of quantum mechanics, they have found a way to instantaneously travel to any point in the universe. This could revolutionize space travel and allow us to explore the cosmos in ways that were previously thought impossible. For centuries, humans have dreamed of finding a way to travel faster than light. Now, scientists believe they may have found a way to make this dream a reality. By manipulating something called dark energy, it may be possible to create a kind of warp field that would allow an object to move faster than the speed of light. While more research is needed to confirm this theory, the potential implications are truly fascinating. If we can learn to harness dark energy, we could open up whole new worlds of exploration and discovery. But there was one small problem. The new technology required particles that were heavier than light. And while there are plenty of those in the universe, generating them in large enough quantities was going to be difficult. Still, scientists were determined to find a way. They began working around the clock to come up with a solution. And after months of hard work, they finally succeeded. Now the sky is the limit. With this new technology, we can finally explore the universe and discover all its secrets. Who knows what we'll find out there? The possibilities are truly endless. So what are you waiting for? Let's go explore the cosmos. What is dark energy? In order to understand how this new technology works, we need to first understand what dark energy is. Dark energy is a mysterious force that makes up around 68% of the universe. It's what's responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe. And while we don't know much about it, scientists believe that it has the power to warp space and time. So how does this relate to travel? Well, by harnessing the power of dark energy, it may be possible to create a warp field that would allow an object to move faster than the speed of light. In other words, you could instantaneously travel to any point in the universe. Of course, more research is needed to confirm this theory. But if it turns out to be true, it could revolutionize space travel as we know it. Imagine being able to travel to any planet or star system in just a matter of hours or even minutes. The possibilities are truly endless. So what does this mean for the future? Well, if scientists can learn to harness the power of dark energy, it could open up whole new worlds of exploration and discovery. We could finally explore the universe without having to wait for years or even decades for a spacecraft to reach its destination. And who knows what we'll find out there? The possibilities are truly endless.